A lot of you guys asked to see my settings and I'm going to show you them in this video. So let's begin. Default region is Frankfurt because I'm an EU player and I play in Frankfurt servers. I get about 20 to 25 ping. Resolution I keep on 1. That is just the best performance to visual. Aspect ratio I play in default. I don't really like to stretch resolution. All of these off to maximize FPS. UI scale I like on 0.8. Show UI is on. Dynamic HP bars is off. That is the animation when you shoot somebody and the health bar will go down gradually instead of instantly. So I prefer that off because it gives you a bit more FPS. Show hit indicators I keep on. Show damage off. Um, I don't really like to be distracted by how much damage I'm putting out. Damage color, these are both on default. Damage scale, uh, keep on one, it doesn't really matter. Show chat box, always, because I like to see who's typing. Kill feed on, kill counter on, death counter on. Streak counter, I leave off, but um, that just shows you what streak you're on and if you're on track for a nuke. Show play messages, I leave on. Show unboxings is off. Show ping on. Show FPS is on, but usually if I'm playing a comm game, I would keep that off because it does give you a little bit more FPS. Show movement speed is off. The, these two don't matter. Show medals is also off. I just prefer to see the number instead of you got a headshot or something like that. It's just a bit more simplistic and less distracting. Name tag display everyone and everything. The reason I do that is to see who my team members are as well as information about their health. Crosshair type is precision, as you can see from the drop down. Um, and custom opacity, I leave on one. Color is green, shadow is black. I just prefer the green and black color combination. Shadow thickness, I keep on three. Thickness, 1.5, size four, and gap 15. Dot is what will appear in the center. I just leave that off. Sensitivity, I have these all on 0.7, and I play in 550 DPI. Light compensation, I leave on 1.5 so I don't have to lead shots as much. Controller, I don't play with the controller so I just put all these on the lowest defaults. Master volume, 0.5. I find that on 1, everything is just really, really loud. Uh, so I just put that on 0.5 and it makes things a lot more quieter. Ambient volume on 0. I do this to make sure there's no background sounds, for example, wind or music in some maps. All the others are on 1. Field of view, I put on 110. I just find this is the sweet spot. Uh, it's not too stretched and it's not too close. So I just keep that on 110. Weapon FOV, 120. Weapon bobbing, 0. Leaning, 0. X offset, I leave on 1. Y offset, I leave on 2. And Z offset on 1 as well. Weapon aim animation, I leave on. This is the normal animation right here. In and out. And if I turn that off, it's kind of it's kind of like a zoom in effect, which I don't really like that much. So I just leave that on. Hide a weapon on ADS, I have that off because I have show primary and show secondary off as well. I keep melee on just so I don't get confused if I switch to my melee by accident and my gun doesn't shoot. Hood health, these are all on default here. Pop up score scale, one. Score X offset, five. So that means it's right in the center. Y offset is on two, so it'll be higher up. Saturation I leave on two. I just find one like the default one. It's it's very It's not colorful and I prefer really, you know vibrant games uh, As you can see it's a lot more vibrant now Saturation UI this changes the saturation on the actual UI uh, Not in game. I just leave that on one Color hue all these are on zero chat opacity on one chat background opacity I leave on zero because if you turn this on it will give you less FPS Chat text outline I leave on because otherwise I won't be able to see chat as easily if I have this on zero. Chat height default. These are all on default here. Bullet tracer color. I changed this from the default white to a nice green color. Load mods on. Auto load mods on. And I actually use my own custom mod for this, uh, which is just called Epic Comp. But as you can see, I have two others here. This one is old. I don't know how to delete that. And this one was quite popular actually for a while, which just gives you a green and black rainbow, no sight, and uh, the axe, as well as some cool sounds. Scope image, I use my own custom scope image, as well as hit marker image. Those will be in the description below. Reticle image, I leave off, and I also have reticle on none. 
just to give me that bit extra FPS and so it won't be as distracting. These two don't matter. Match end message, I just I just put my YouTube channel there. Profile image, I have all of these set to none. And use damage overlay, I keep on. The only reason I do this is because I'm more used to it and I can take a guess on how much health I'm on without having to look in the bottom left. But however, if you do turn this off, it will give you a bit more FPS. Unlimited FPS, of course, I have turned on and window capture off. So yeah, uh, that's about it. And if you have any questions, just remember to ask me down below. All right, let's go into the optimizations. So in case some of you didn't know, movement in this game is actually tied to FPS. So the higher your FPS, the better your movement will be. That includes jumping, sliding and turning. So one of the simplest ways to increase your FPS is by disabling the FPS counter. As you can see in this example, I'm getting around about 550 with the counter on. And if I go and disable it, I'm getting about 580 if you look in the top right. Just a small improvement, but on some devices it could give you a big FPS boost. Okay, and next we have view model. So as you can see in this example, I'm getting about 650, 660 FPS with the view model on. If I go and turn it off, I'm getting about 700 FPS. Immediately it's jumped up back on 660 So yeah, it's a big improvement if you do turn the view model off The next improvement involves weapon skins as you can see in this example I'm getting about 640 FPS with the rainbow skin and if I switch to a default skin I'm adding 670 FPS. So that is a big improvement just for changing the skin Okay, and just to clear something up, a lot of people think that changing the resolution will give you a lot more FPS. This is actually not the case. So here in this example, I'm using resolution 1 and I'm getting around about 660 FPS. If I change it to 2, of course, I'm getting around about 600, you know, 640, which is a little bit less, but not too bad. Now, if I change it to 0.9, Again, 650 FPS, just about what it was before. Put it down to 0.7 and I'm getting 660 FPS, exactly what it was at one resolution. Putting it down to 0.5 now, I'm still getting 660 FPS. There's no change. All the way down to 0.1 and again, 660, 670 FPS. So honestly, compared to just one resolution, there is not much difference whatsoever. And another optimization you can do to possibly give you better FPS is actually disable hardware acceleration on Discord. If you use Discord a lot, this will greatly benefit you if you have it open in the background when you're playing. So first of all, go into user settings at the bottom left, then appearance, scroll down and turn off hardware acceleration. Click OK and Discord will restart and you've applied the optimization. An issue that is talked about a lot in the Crunker community is mouse flicking. So you could be aiming in one spot and then the next second your mouse is somewhere completely different. This happens because of polling rate. So the way to fix this is by going into your mouse software, going into sensitivity or DPI, and then changing from 1000 hertz to 500, or if you're already on 500, change it to 1000. And hopefully this should fix the issue of mouse flicking. Okay, this is actually a big improvement regarding the sounds of footsteps in game. So I noticed recently if I turn off spatial sound, Windows Sonic for headphones, I usually hear footsteps louder, clearer, and further away. So here's how to do that. First of all, go to your settings and search for sound. Then go to the sound control panel on the right. And from there, right click on your headphones and select properties. Then go to the spatial sound tab and make sure in the drop down it is set to off. Then hit apply and go over to the enhancements tab and make sure disable all enhancements is ticked. Then press apply and okay. Here's an audio sample with Windows Sonic for headphones on. And here is an example with Windows Sonic for headphones off. And to end the video, I just want to show a quick glitch on Shipyard 
which can be used in 1v1s and 2v2s on ranked. So you can use a shotgun for this or you can use a sword off shotgun as a secondary. And the way to do this is to walk up to these three stacked crates next to the box, jump on top of the crates and then slide over on top of the box. Shoot the wall and you'll drop right through. You can shoot through this which is extremely helpful because this is a point. So you'll be able to shoot the enemy if they do come on the point without them being able to kill you. And eventually if you get good at it you can be fast at doing it and escape from situations. So yeah, I hope that helped and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment and maybe subscribe. I'll see you next time.